Now we will see the next vein that is the umbilical vein. Umbilical vein is very simple because we all of us know in the fetus the oxygenated blood is contributed by the placenta. So from the placenta it is by means of the umbilical vein the oxygenated blood is reaching the heart of the fetus. Okay. So this umbilical vein initially they are also two in number. Right side, left side. Okay. So right side umbilical vein, left side umbilical vein. So from the placenta, this is the placenta, right and left side umbilical vein will come. But after some time only the left umbilical vein is left out. It means the right will disappear. So left over is left umbilical vein. Okay. Left over is left umbilical vein. So from the placenta through the left umbilical vein the blood the oxygenated blood is reaching the fetal heart. While doing so this left umbilical vein helps in the formation of another structure which is termed ductus venosus. Okay. So in the course of the left umbilical vein it helps in the formation of a structure ductus venosus. Again like our ductus arteriosus this is ductus venosus. So it means it connects two veins. Okay. So this connects the left umbilical vein majority of the blood of the left umbilical vein to the hepatocardiac channel. In between the structure is known as ductus venosus. So the left umbilical vein the blood will directly go to the hepatocardiac channel by means of a structure ductus venosus. So again this ductus venosus helps in bypassing the liver and directly connecting the umbilical vein with the hepatocardiac channel. So in between we have the liver okay. So instead of the stagnation of the blood in the left umbilical vein in the liver there is a connection the ductus venosus which connects left umbilical vein with the hepatocardiac channel okay. So in case of umbilical vein just remember right and left were there right has gone the left is left out okay left umbilical vein is left. So the left umbilical vein will carry blood from the placenta to the heart before going to the heart again it has to go through the liver. So instead of staying back the whole blood in the liver there is a direct connection between the umbilical vein and the hepatocardiac channel that connection is known as ductus venosus. Okay, this much clear.